a black hole on the run, and a universe rewritten in a stunning and unexpected development, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has once again left the world of astronomy astounded. Just weeks ago, this powerful observatory detected what was believed to be the earliest known galaxy ever seen, dating back to the dawn of the universe. That discovery alone was enough to create waves in the scientific community. But now, the telescope has done something even more mind-blowing. It has captured evidence of a supermassive black hole moving at an astonishing speed nearly 4 million miles per hour away from its home galaxy. Yes, you heard that right. A black hole, an object known for its immense gravity and tendency to absorb everything in its path, appears to be traveling away from its galaxy instead of staying anchored at its center. This discovery is not just rare it's revolutionary. Traditionally, black holes are known as cosmic vacuum cleaners. They're the ultimate gravitational wells, pulling in nearby matter and even light. But this one defies those expectations in the most spectacular way. Rather than consuming its surroundings, it appears to be leaving a trail of newly formed stars in its wake. Imagine a black hole not as a destroyer, but as a creator sparking star birth as it races through space. The trail of stars behind this rogue black hole stretches an incredible 200,000 light years, roughly twice the diameter of the Milky Way galaxy. Scientists are understandably puzzled. This kind of behavior has never been seen before. It's not just unusual it's unprecedented. A team led by astronomy professor Peter van Dockham published their observations in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Additional data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope also confirmed the finding, showing the same glowing wake of stars trailing behind the fast-moving black hole. So, what could cause this bizarre phenomenon? Astronomers believe that as this black hole races through space, it collides with clouds of gas, causing the gas to cool rapidly and collapse forming new stars in its path. This strange but spectacular chain reaction is unlike anything previously recorded and could completely change how we think about black holes. But that's not all the James Webb Space Telescope has been observing. In another part of the universe, astronomers are witnessing one of the most spectacular galactic mergers ever recorded. A system known as ARP-220 the result of two spiral galaxies colliding is shining brighter than nearly any other object in its category. Located about 250 million light-years away in the constellation Serpens, ARP-220 is what astronomers call an ultraluminous infrared galaxy, radiating with the light of over a trillion suns. That's right a trillion suns. To compare, our entire Milky Way galaxy has the brightness of about 10 billion suns. ARP-220 outshines this a hundredfold, thanks to the sheer intensity of the collision and subsequent star formation it triggered. This merger happened about 700 million years ago, when the two galaxies first collided. That impact sparked a furious burst of new stars in a central region only 5,000 light years wide, yet containing hundreds of massive star clusters. Incredibly, this small region holds as much gas as the entire Milky Way. Using radio telescopes, scientists discovered around 100 supernova remnants packed into a tight area of less than 500 light years. The James Webb Telescope's recent infrared images add even more detail. The two galactic cores are still 1,200 light years apart, each surrounded by rotating rings of intense star formation, glowing fiercely in the infrared. The latest web images reveal not only the glowing cores but also faint tidal tails long strands of stars and gas being pulled out by the galaxy's gravity. Even more interesting are the reddish and orange filaments, which indicate the presence of organic molecules the building blocks of life scattered across the merging galaxies. Together, these discoveries are painting a new picture of the cosmos, one that is much more dynamic, mysterious, and chaotic than we previously imagined. The edge of the universe, and the challenge to the Big Bang as incredible as the black hole and ARP-220 discoveries are, the James Webb Space Telescope has gone even further literally. It's now taking us to the very edge of the observable universe, offering us a window into the cosmos just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. And what it's showing us is both exciting and confusing. Recently, researchers using Webb detected several primordial galaxies, 
glowing faintly from a distance of more than 13.5 billion light years away. That means the light from these galaxies has been traveling through space for nearly the entire age of the universe before reaching us. Initially, some astronomers were skeptical. Could these faint signals be dusty galaxies nearby, just masquerading as ancient ones? To confirm, they shared the data with research teams around the world. And sure enough, the Webb Telescope's advanced instruments especially its ability to detect infrared light and redshifts confirmed the galaxies are real and truly ancient. These are some of the earliest galaxies ever observed born only 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. Even more surprising is their size. Some of them are as massive, or even 10 times larger than the Milky Way. That revelation has set off alarm bells in the scientific community. According to conventional models of cosmology, it should take billions of years for galaxies that large to form. So how could such massive structures exist so early in cosmic history? Physicist Michio Kaku has said that this finding challenges everything we thought we knew about the beginning of the universe. It's forcing scientists to re-examine our foundational theories especially the Big Bang model and cosmic inflation. Webb's data is suggesting that galaxies formed much faster and more efficiently than our current theories allow. Some scientists now believe the Big Bang theory, though still widely supported, may be incomplete or flawed in key ways. For instance, the Big Bang theory still can't fully explain what triggered the explosion in the first place. It also struggles with the laws of thermodynamics, and now, with Webb's observations, we have even more data that doesn't quite fit. NASA recently posted an update about another major discovery a galaxy cluster located just 650 million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers say this growing cluster will likely evolve into something like the Coma Cluster, one of the largest structures in the known universe. Even more impressive, scientists were able to measure the velocity and motion of individual galaxies within this forming cluster. This confirmed that the galaxies are gravitationally bound together forming what astronomers call a protocluster. NASA compared this formation to tiny drops of water flowing together to form a mighty river an elegant analogy for the forces that shape the universe. All of this raises some profound questions. If galaxies were forming and clustering together this rapidly after the Big Bang, does that mean we've misunderstood the timing and mechanics of cosmic evolution? Could there have been an entirely different sequence of events in the early universe one that defies our current understanding? Some scientists are even entertaining alternative theories, including variations of the cyclic universe, quantum birth models, or a multiverse scenario. None of these ideas are proven yet but the James Webb Telescope is giving us the data we need to ask deeper, better informed questions. As the Webb mission continues, we can expect more discoveries that may redefine the history of time itself. In the meantime, one thing is clear. Our universe is more complex, more beautiful, and more mysterious than we ever imagined. So, what do you think about these mind-bending discoveries? Do they excite you? Confuse you? Or make you question everything you thought you knew? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing updates from the Final Frontier. Thanks for watching, and as always keep